Hello, I hope you are doing great. Today we are going to see a small example on how to invoke JavaScript functions from your Unity 3D video games. So, if you have a Unity 3D video game that is going to be built on WebGL, since WebGL runs in the browser, you are able to invoke JavaScript functions in there. Now before we continue please remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you are subscribed so you are notified when there are new videos uploaded, right? Share the videos, like them and yeah please invite more people so we can get more subscribers and keep making more frequent videos for you. Let's start. So here is a small Unity application. The only thing that it does is rotate that sphere, right? And that's the only functionality that it has at the moment. What we are going to do is just print a message as soon as the application is start. But the message that we are going to print or show it's we are going to show it through JavaScript invoke from a unity script how do we do that okay so the way in which you invoke javascript functions from unity is through plugins and javascript interop i will say so in your unity game or project you will already have an assets folder right and you will need to create a plugins folder. In that plugins folder, you will have to create a script with the extension .jslib. Now, that has a slightly different format from the c scripts, right? And I don't know if you can create it from here because I didn't find a way to create like a text file or something like that, right? So what I did is I opened this project in Visual, Stu Visual Studio Code. Then on this on the plugins folder, I create the file. I name it JS Interrupt just because I wanted to name it that way. And you see that I added the .js lib extension. If I open this file, you will see that it has this format. It is a call to function merge lib, right? And you pass the library. And then as the second parameter, you pass the definition of all of your um, methods or functions. Functions, okay. Now, I named this function alert, and you will see that the only thing that it does is using the browser alert to display the message that we are sending. Now, something important that we have to take in consideration in here is that the actual parameter that we get in here is not the value of the message we are sending, it's actually a pointer. So in order to get the actual value you need to invoke this pointer underscore stringify and you pass the variable and then in this variable we are we will have the value that is going to be printed right okay now that's the j the javascript part right but we need to invoke it somehow so we created a small test script in C -sharp that is bound to that sphere that you probably saw in here, right? Okay, we open this script and you will see that now we have this. We have a method definition that it's marked as the LL import using the underscore underscore internal string and the signature is private static extern, right? This is important because it's external. The type that the function will return, the name of the function and the parameters. Important, 
this function needs to be named exactly the same as the JavaScript function, right? The parameters names are not that important because JavaScript uh, executes or takes the parameters based on the order that you send, send them, right? But um, it's, it's more user friendly to have the name um, similar to this, right? The one difference in here is that in this C sharp, um, well, I could put actually a pointer in here, right? But it will look some weird in here because if I will I see it, it will in here, I will be shown message pointer, but I am not sending a pointer. I'm sending a string, right? So it's something weird. Uh, but in the JavaScript portion, I do want to name it pointer to make clear to the user that this is a pointer and not the actual value, right? Okay. And you see, we invoke the alert, we pass the parameter, then what it will do is basically invoke this function through the interrupt, right? And that will be it. So let me load this. And let's see if it actually loads in here. Let's see. I'm not sure if this one is actually already compiled. Or, uh, it's, if it's working. Okay, so let's see. What I am going to do is I am going to build and run, right? And then we should be able to see this working. So let's wait for all of that to finish. And then the browser um, will execute and we will see localhost 51637 it launched right and I am showing this JavaScript alert executed from Unity uh, and I can continue working on the game and that's just a small example right and that was executed on the load because the test script which is bound to the sphere has the alert uh, call on the start right hope this video has been useful please let us know what things you will be doing in booking JavaScript this code from your unity 3d video games again please remember subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell invite more people so we can get more subscribers and keep making more frequent videos for you like the channels and share them. Have a great day.